Hey everybody, my name is Eric. I'm making a game that's called The God Killer. It's a 3D top-down puzzle solving adventure game. I'm going to show it to you in a moment, but uh, I had a few thoughts I, I, I thought I'd share. Um, I was thinking about all the things we do uh, just to get by in life. You know, you, you got to have a job, you got to spend half your waking hours at least at work doing that you, you have to you go into debt uh, for your education that provides a livelihood just to survive you've got to jump through all these hoops you you have to be set up a certain way for society to accept you and to allow you just to occupy space in it and I'm not about that I'm about freedom and uh, I had an idea, and I, I think it'll work. We just get about 10 acres of cheap land someplace and uh, just uh, get some good people there, living there together, freely, doing what they want. You know, not, not spending all their time working, all their time laboring, all their time, uh, you know, uh, paying for their insurance or paying all the tax returns and all that nonsense. No, we just get it out away from society. We get this 10 acres, it's all set up. And, uh, you know, it doesn't cost you anything to live there. If, if you seem okay to me, you can come on to my, my little my little kingdom, my little compound. And, uh, you know, it, it's going to be good. There'll be a lot of campfires and us hanging around by the campfire and talking, telling stories and laughing and and, uh, you know, there'll be, like, chores and stuff, too. Like, I, don't get me wrong. If you are going to be here and be part of this community, you got to do some work, right? Um, just, but, like, you know, it just you got to wash dishes after a meal. Or maybe you got to cook the meal because, you know, the responsibility you got to share in it. Uh, I'm not going to do it all myself, of course. Of course, right? Um, and then, also, like, I think we want Internet. And most things you can live off the land, but like I write games and I, I like watching movies like Netflix, you know, stuff like that. So we're gonna need some friggin' kick ass broadband internet. I, I think you'll agree. Problem is with that, there has to be some money that we have to pay for it, right? Because unlike, say, water, water you can just harvest it from the sky, basically. Um, food you can grow. But uh, you, 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 internet, you can't make internet off the land. It's, I mean, I suppose you could stick some wires and stuff together and get something going, but it wouldn't be connected to all the stuff out there. That's so cool. So we gotta, we gotta earn some money somehow to pay for the internet. And um, but I was thinking about it. Like we can have economic output in this camp where everyone's free. Um, and there, there was one product I thought of that makes sense. You know what's so big today, and it's it's like nothing. Like to make it is nothing. Is seltzer water? It's just water, and carbon dioxide, and a little bit of some kind of syrup flavor. So somebody will work on a cherry tree, okay, and we'll have the water from rain. Uh, the the cherry tree just squeeze a little bit of juice out, not too much, because with seltzer water people want zero calories. So you just have a little bit of syrup come from the cherry, go into the water. But then you, you, you want to say, this is seltzer water. It can't be flat. That's just like lame Kool-Aid. It's got it's to bubble in your throat. It's got to tickle your throat, right? And to do that, you need carbon dioxide. So some of you are going to be working on the cherry trees in the orchard. Uh, and we won't need a lot of trees because you just need a tiny little bit of juice, just a little bit. Okay, some of you are going to be working on, on the, the rain barrels and collecting water uh, from, from the rain or maybe other kind of hydro projects. Um, and some of you are going to be working on, on carbon dioxide, which, where do you get carbon dioxide? We breathe it out of us. So, I'm going to get some mask. We'll put a mask on you. Most, most of the people are going to be working on carbon dioxide. So, you just put the mask on your mouth. You inhale through your nose, exhale into the mouth, into the mouth, 
if you can hyperventilate while you're doing this, you're going to produce more carbon dioxide. So we will just, I will do whatever it takes to get you hyperventilating. Like you can maybe just will yourself to do it, or we can have someone come tickle you while you get the mask on. You go, but we want you pumping out a lot of carbon dioxide because we need it to make the seltzer water bubbly. And, uh, you know, and, and you say like, you know, maybe you want to get paid. For, dude, we don't have the margins to be paying you. You come here to my place that I set up with the capital and, and the know-how and, and you need to participate economically in the output or the whole thing is not going to work. The whole friggin' thing. So don't think you're going to come over to my farm and be a freeloader, okay? We're going to get the mask on you. We're going to have you hyperventilating. We have you producing carbon dioxide. We're going to suck it out of you, and we're going to stick it in the goddamn seltzer and ship it out, because that's how we survive. Okay? Freedom. All right. Now let's get to a demo. Got to get get a demo going here.